Hello, thank you for starting this training video on the SSOR SSO Triennial Audit of RTAs or STARS. This video's training agenda consists of the following STARS topics, introduction of SSO Triennial Audit of RTAs or STARS, how to add or edit a STAR, how to delete a STAR. Okay, let's get started with the introduction of STARS. SSOAs must report all triennial audits of their respective RTAs that they conducted during the reporting year and insert all relevant information as required. Now let's discuss how to add or edit a star. To add a new star, we would click the Agency Management tab first in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Then we'd use the Report Year selector to choose the year to enter the data. Let's choose 2023. Now we would click the Create Star button at the top or bottom right of the star screen under the Agency Management tab. The new star screen will be displayed with a form to enter audit and report information. Now from this screen, we would need to enter the necessary data into the window displayed on the screen. Keep in mind that some fields are required for entry, including RTA, audit type, date started, final report date, and number of findings, only if required if report issues is checked. So let's start off by entering the RTA. Then next, the audit type, we'll choose safety. Date started, we want to choose something in 2023. So let's try this date. We also need to choose a final report date. Keep in mind, this is only for training purposes. And we don't see number of findings here simply because we didn't select report issues found. So from here, we'll click the submit button to save the data and return to the star screen, or we could click cancel to return to the star screen without saving the information entered. Today for training purposes, we'll click submit. Now let's discuss how to edit a star. To edit a star, we would click the edit icon in the star's grid and follow the remaining steps below. So we click edit. We'll enter all of the required data, um, which we have already entered the, the required data. But just for an example, I will change the, the start date to the 14th. From here, we would click the submit button on the right side of the screen to save the star to the systems database and return to the star screen. The new star created will be displayed at the top of the list. Otherwise, we could click cancel to return to the star screen without saving the data. Of course, cancel is in the bottom left corner and also in the top left corner. For training purposes, let's try submit. And here you see that our edited star is the first record at the top of the table. Next, let's discuss how to delete a star. To delete a star, the delete icon or a red X in the stars grid allows users to delete the star entry permanently. And here's that red X. Let's try clicking the red X. So after clicking the delete icon, users will be prompted to confirm their decision. If a user wishes to continue, you click the yes button to permanently delete and remove the star from the report. Now for training purposes, we will go ahead and delete. Otherwise, if we didn't want to delete, we could simply just select no. But let's select yes. And here we see the star was deleted as we only have one remaining star left in the table. Now, if any data was unintentionally deleted, 
you can contact the help desk for further assistance. Stars cannot be deleted if they exist on a prior year's annual report or are the source of a cap. This concludes this video's training. For SSOR questions, please see the contact information on this slide.